Hey everyone, it's Rachel. I'm back for another video. Took a little hiatus. Um, today's video is going to be about my 46th Stitch Fix. Um, as uh, always, uh, I'm gonna just go over everything and then I'll put some pictures down below and a link to my blog of me trying it on later um, so you guys can get a better idea of how this looked on me. It was a little too hard and I suck at editing to try to put them on, show it to you guys. So I'm just gonna go through the box um, this time. Um, so this is my little card. I have my same awesome stylist, Christian, who I told him we were going to go pick up our wine shipments over in the Hill Country. And so he talks about the Hill Country and all the cute things he's gonna get so I can go to the wineries and the outfits. So this is more casual laid back and I have been asking for jeans forever and there are jeans in here. So each month when you order this, um, if those of you who are not familiar with Stitch Fix, it's $20 and um, that fee goes towards your five items and they're picked out by a stylist and usually you give them like feedback of what you like and don't like and like I have a Pinterest board connected to mine and so that they get an idea of what your style is and then when you buy it the $20 goes towards um, your purchase if you purchase all um, 20 or all five of them I think it's a 25% off don't quote me on that oh here it is Sorry guys, um, I believe it's 25% off. Yeah, you get a 25% discount. Um, they also have things called your extras that you can add on um, before it's fixed, it's styled, and that could be things like underwear, camisoles, and all of that. And then um, they have another thing, which I don't know if it's open to everybody, but they invited people to do the style pass, which is I always forget exactly how much it is, like 45 or something dollars. And that went towards your um, styling or your purchase that one time. And then from there on, you get a year worth of unlimited fixes. So for me, I did the style pass because I've been doing this for so long. Like I said, this is, this is um, fix number 46. And um, basically, I can get as many as I want and it doesn't cost me a thing. If I hate the whole thing, I'll turn it back. That being said, I've never had a fix that was a 100% complete bust. I've always been able to like one thing. So let's dig right in. I'll go through everything. And like I said, um, I will somehow, either in my blog, which I'll post below, or in somehow I'll, I'll try to put the, um, what, you know, is, uh, it is each thing on me and then, go from there. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is, if I can get it here, sorry, I tried these on a little while ago trying to make my um, decision. So this is the Market and Spruce Elena Jacquard Cotton Blend Haltered Knit Top in medium. It is a pink color is what they said. Yeah, pink. So you can see it. It has this really pretty and I don't know if you can see it really well in the camera. Kind of a dusky gray pink color. This is right up my alley. Um, I'm gonna scoot back here a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. It's just a cute little halter top. And then on the back, it has this little tie here. And this shirt is uh, $54. And it is really like kind of a stretchy fabric and it is double lined with like a cons cotton insert. So um, this is a blend of cotton, polyester, and rayon. Um, apparently it's hand wash. I tend to put these in the washing machine and then lay them flat dry. But this is really cute. I'm gonna keep this. Um, so that's the first item. Reaching in here to my next item. This is the Market and Spruce Nova Crochet Detail Tunic in white, and in, again, it's a size medium. Most of my stuff is either a size 10 or a size medium. Um, occasionally, I can veer off in either end of the spectrum, but 
of sizes, but that's generally my size. Um, so this is the shirt. It is super cute. It is super long. Now I am six foot, so for me, this goes all the way down to my um, hips. And the only thing I dislike about this shirt is if you guys can see, it's a little see-through. But beyond that, for a summery fun shirt, if that really bothered me, which it really doesn't, um, you could wear a camisole underneath it. But it's got this like lace detailing here in kind of an ivory color. And it is also, I think this is just a cotton polyester blend. Let's see. Oh, it's Rayon. Um, ooh, dry clean only. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. But I really like this shirt, so I'm keeping it, even though it's dry clean only. Um, I tend to just hand wash these things. <laughs> so that's that. Even if that shrinks a little bit, that shirt fits me nice and loosely. So, um, the next item here is the Daniel Rain Light Blue Medium Calietta Top. Oh, so this shirt, sorry, before I go on to the next one, is uh, $48. Okay, so this one here is super cute. Anyone who likes a little pop of color is going to love this shirt. Um, and this is the shirt. Isn't it cute? It's like a pink and yellow and blue. It's summery. It's real lightweight. Um, I think it's also probably a rayon or a polyester blend. Um, yeah, it's polyester. It's a machine wash, so that's a plus. But this, this is super cute. This is just real light and airy. Um, it is just barely long enough for me. It's one of those, like if you have a mom muffin top, which I do <laughs> since I just had a kid a couple of months back, it hides it really nicely. It's just kind of loose in the right spots, but drapes nicely in other spots. So it's really, 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 really cute. I really like this shirt. So I'm keeping this. This shirt is of $58. All right, so now we get on. I beg my stylist for pants and jeans and things like that, because I'm really hard to find those for, because I'm six foot and I have a flat butt and I have, um, a very long torso. So what would be high rise on me is is not, they don't make it. So high rises are out, low rises barely, you know, work on me. So mid rise has to be a certain style and then it low, low rides on me. So I have to find mid rises that tend to be very straight in the waist and narrow through the hips. Because otherwise what happens is it all falls down my butt. Um, because if it is loose in the hips and it fits my waist, it's going to fall off. So I am a really weird shape. I'm, um, so I have really good luck with cut from the cloth and um, just black brands. They make this wonderful stretchy jean material, if you can see it's stretching with a nice thick waistband. I don't know why, but this these brands fit me so nicely. So this is the um, toothpick. Uh, which one is this? I've had the Mia. This is the. This is just toothpick skinny. Oh, this is Dana Distressed. So this is the this is the um, the the style I've had before. Now this one is different because the one I had before was kind of a light blue. This one has a little bit of distressing and it is a skinny jean if you can see here. So um, it's not like ultra skinny. It doesn't. Now I have skinny legs but it's just a nice skinny jean. But these fit beautifully. Like uh, these are amazing. They go down to my ankle appropriately. I can cuff them up and they don't look ridiculously short on me. These are like I've been asking for these for three or four months um, and he's finally found them in stock. So I told him anytime he finds this brand or just black and brand in stock, he needs to send them to me. So these are size 10 and this is in this, they say navy color, um, and these are $88. And these jeans wear beautifully on me, so I would pay $100 for these if I had to. So that's that. And then the final pair of jeans is he, he likes to send me the DL brand, which I've just not had the best luck with. Um, probably because 
they're just not quite long enough. So this is a size 30, which is equivalent to a 10. This is a 33 inch boot. I wear a minimum 34 and up to 36. So this is just an inch too short. And when I tried them on, unfortunately, and I love boot cuts because I went to high school in the 90s, but um, this boot cut unfortunately hits at that awkward just above my foot stage. It needs to be an inch longer. Other than that, this is a really, really nice denim. It makes my butt look really good. Um, it says it's the Intiscol, in, Instascope Smart Denim that microscopes your legs, butt, and midsection. So if you can see, it's a real dark wash. It doesn't have any distressing. It's um, it's a little lower rise, but not crazy low rise. It's nice and straight through the waist. So this is the DL 1961 brand. Um, the problem is, is the length. And if they're not skinny jeans, I cannot get away with it being too short. I just, I, I know that's more popular, but it traumatized me from being a child. <laughs> I, I hate that look. Um, any tall girls out there, you know, if you have the same feeling, shout out, let me know in the comments because as someone who's six foot, I hate high riding pants. I don't care what the fashion style is. I know that that's kind of in. I think it looks god awful. Um, so these are $178. So they're going back because for $178, I want those jeans to fit like butter and be the correct length and everything. And these are not the correct length. So the, sending, usually I try to calculate so that when I send something back, it's more than the discount. The discount on all five of my items today, um, before discount it was 426 and it was 106 50 for discount because these are 178 it's cheaper to send these back than the discount and so this uh, uh, ended up being like 280 I think um, before I put this as the thing I checked out today so I got to mail these back tomorrow um, the other thing like I was telling you guys about I know this video is getting a little long sorry it's a little bit um, all over the place is so you have the the extras that you can buy and so I bought the last video you saw I had the socks that had all the colorful patterns there was like a blue stripe sock and all that I just got the basic socks these socks it's it's hard to show you on the video but they are such a super soft cotton they're super lightweight um, I believe they're one size fit all but they work really well I have a size 10 foot and uh, I wear nine and a half to tens and these these fit really nicely. So these are just great. I use these at work. I wear um, running shoes to work and stuff. So I need like a little little sock like this. So I use these a ton. Um, these are $12. And I do honestly actually think that they are worth that price because they're great. And then I um, wanted to get some new underwear and <laughs> the underwear from the last video I know was a hot mess so I sent those back. This is the um, video, the underwear that I got this time. This is the Hanky Panky Bikini. Um, I did get them in a large size because I tend to find underwear runs slow. These are super lacy. They're actually really pretty and they fit really nicely. They are a little pricey. They were $30 but they're really really nice so I am keeping these. Um, so I've had luck with about half of the um, basic or what are they called they're called the everyday extras um i've had good luck so the socks i've had good luck with um the tankini i think it was a tankini bralette i had good luck with and then these underwear i had good luck with um not so much with the bikini underwear i thought they were too low cut not so much with the lacy bralette and then the last underwear that i had the high cut waist ones they were awful so um I definitely think if you are like me and you have, you know, a hard time getting to the store for whatever reason, for me it's because I have to haul two children, so it's just a big pain in the butt. Um, this is a fun way to get intimates and underwear and everything. Um, they also sent in my um, thing saying, um, you know, you can buy a gift card, which I usually have my relatives buy me gift cards for the subscription. Um, and then it talks about giving the gift of stuff. So there's for me. So anyway, that's that. Um, I'll post the link down below uh, if you're interested in this uh, service. Like I said, I've been doing this for 
My daughter's four and a half, four and a half years. Um, I, I rarely go buy stuff from a regular store. They do send you a prepaid envelope for the stuff to return. Um, but yeah, if, if you like this video, let me know. Um, I think I'm debating. I saw a subscription service for three pairs of underwear a month that wasn't too expensive. That looks kind of interesting. And I love my clothing subscription service. So I was thinking about doing that. Let me know what you guys think if you like the, the um, clothing review or if you like the makeup ones better or the lifestyle ones or you want like a whole mix of it. Just let me know um, because I'm going to do some different boxes and I'm kind of looking. I'm thinking maybe a few lifestyle or uh, clothing ones would be kind of fun. So anyway, um, as always, please subscribe. Uh, I'm up to 19 viewers and um, I'm growing fair, albeit slowly, but nicely. And so thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Hit the little warning bell um, so you know when my videos come up because uh, it's very random. And uh, leave me comments. Tell me what you think. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> And talk today um, and then finally you know uh, as always follow me on my different uh, social media I have it all linked down below but as always thank you guys and I will see you later